and welcome back to my channel. First of all, what the heck? It's been about a year since I posted my last video and it's crazy to think the amount of things that happened throughout 2017. I cannot say it was a hard year because everyone wants to say, oh my God, it was such a horrible year. So many bad things happened. Let's be honest, good and bad things happen every single year. I have to say, a lot of things happened in 2017. First thing, starting the year, I was currently working at a place I did not enjoy to work at. And that was a place I first got a job when I first moved here to Florida, and it was at Universal Theme Parks. I worked at Universal for about three years. That was the first job I got a month after I moved here. So after the three years, I noticed a lot of things weren't going the way I wanted to because the first and main reason I got into Universal was to work in entertainment. And although I did um, participate in a few things that had to do with entertainment like Halloween Horror Nights, I was very unhappy uh, working at Universal and I thought, hey, I kind of want to do something more. I want to do something that I feel better. I think the main reason why I was so unhappy it was because I kind of felt stuck and I felt like I worked there, worked there for so long and although I did progress and I did learn a lot of things, I met a lot of good people, I felt like I was kind of like just letting my life go and just not living it to its fullest or not kind of like letting my dreams actually like not pursuing my dreams there. So. One day I just like said, you know, I am done. I need to start looking for another job. I applied to work at the hotel. I got a position as a front desk agent at one of the hotels. And although I did enjoy it a lot and I learned a lot, again, I worked there for about six months. And although I had a lot of dreams like I did at Universal, I still didn't feel like I was in the right place. I felt good, but I didn't feel passionate about it. So I was like, you know what? I think I should just try and find another job. I know the best job that would get me paid a little bit more and that would get me to do something out of work was an office job. So that is where I'm currently at. By the end of December, I finally got the job that I think fit the best for me at this moment. And I have a full-time job. I get paid more than I did at the previous jobs I had and I'm finally at a place where I don't work weekends, I don't work at night, I don't have to wear a uniform, I don't have to do a lot of things that I had to do over in the other jobs that I had, which I'm very grateful for and I do not regret the experiences I had at Universal and at the hotel, but I am very happy with where I'm at right now. Now, when it comes to my health and fitness, 2017 was a very bad year for me health wise i was kind of considering myself healthy just because i've never suffered anything like diabetes cancer something big or major but it was one of those things where once i'm always the type of person to go like once a year to the doctor and check everything out and make sure everything is going well with my health i ended up doing it like halfway through the year i did not worry about it before that in by the time I got to go to the doctor, I noticed there were a lot of times that TMI, when I was on my period, it hurt a lot and it was very heavy. And when I was not, I was still hurting like I was on my period, which was very interesting to me. One time I was just sleeping and I got, like I was just sleeping and it, I woke up from how bad I was hurting and I was cramping and I knew I was not on my period. So I was like, this is interesting. So. I remember that night I woke up Victor and I was like, hey, I am not feeling well. And I went to the bathroom. When I sat down, I was like, oh my God, I was bleeding like if I was on my period. Weird thing is, I was done with my periods like two weeks before that. So it was not something normal, you know, it was not something that like, I thought was like, oh, I'm just getting my period again because I've always been the kind of person that gets their period every month. So I got very scared and like every time I would go to the bathroom and I would pee, 
it would there would be blood in it so I was very very scared I started shaking I started sweating I got very worried I started crying I didn't know what was wrong with me so I said you know what Victor if the pain keeps going like it is right now we need to go to the hospital and the next day when I woke up I called my doctor and I said I explained everything that happened and uh, she said I should go to the to get like an ultrasound and I did that that day after I got my results I went to the doctor and I explained everything that was happening and she ended up saying that uh, my body creates naturally creates cysts in my ovaries a lot of people create cysts and that happens normally but they flush it if if I'm right I that's what I understood from what the doctor explained every time you get your period if you have cysts they would like flush with your period now in my case my body has like a weird or like it, it does it's not like hormonally normal or stable where every time I get my period it would flush it, it just creates more and more and more and more and they kind of like are stuck in there and they just keep like enlarging my ovaries but that's pretty much what happened with my health last year and I started taking birth control it did help a little bit but not how we wanted to so now this year we need to figure out what we're gonna do cuz she did say they weren't as big as the last time but now first it was in one ovary now it's in both of them so we still need to figure out what's gonna ha what's gonna happen with that but other than that fitness I need to get fit I gain about 30 pounds over the last two years and it's been horrible we've been eating really bad I've been drinking soda like I've never done before because I've, I've never been I've never been used to like drinks drinking soda and having soda like with my food until I moved here and I tried Dr. Pepper I am freaking obsessed and it's not cool by the end of the year I was kind of like in a state of mind where I was like man it's been a whole year and I remember when uh, we were in Puerto Rico the year before I said like oh I had like all these big plans and this big like changes and this big like dreams for the year and I felt like even though I had the change in the work I didn't do anything else with my life my relationship and pretty much myself you know I wasn't I, I didn't stay true to myself when it came to health fitness my relationship with Victor and all that stuff now this brings me back to other things that happened throughout the year and is that I finally started going to church that was never something I I was kind of like introduced to in my family it's not like a tradition it's not something that we follow so after I moved here and I started hanging out with Victor's uh, parents they are the kind of per people that go to church every Sunday and that are they're religious not religious but they're true Christians so they are amazing people and I've learned a lot from them and there were a lot of times when Victor would leave for work because he travels a lot with it and I remember staying at home and I would be so scared and there were a lot of fears in me that were irrational fears because I would fear about like dying and no one being here I would fear about someone breaking in and stuff like that that would it does make sense but it's not like you should you shouldn't live in fear you know so I remember when I the more I got to know them the more I saw in them how calm they were about life and everything and they're like you know God is in control and God has our life in his hands and all that stuff and I was like man I wish I could live like them and last year we finally decided as a family you know me and Victor decided we were gonna start going to church every Sunday and it has made a huge change in my life I now consider myself a Christian I have grown so much within Christ and within myself that I can say I have never felt so calm and so happy until the end of the year because I accepted God in my life and in my heart I did notice a lot of changes between my relationship with Victor um, like the relationship with Victor and me uh, when, I, when we started going to church and we started like talking about what happened on Sunday and our dreams and our hopes and all that stuff and through church every single um, 
December, you kind of like adopt a family. And with that, you kind of like bring presents or dinner and you do it as a like a Christmas dinner for them. And I've never done that before. Victor's parents have done it in the past. And Victor's sister decided to do it this year for a family. And you know, at the beginning of it, um, she kind of like include all of us. And she was like, so they're um, a couple from Venezuela. And for those of you who don't know, my family from my mom's side, it's from Venezuela. And that was very interesting. And I was like, oh my God, they're from Venezuela. That's cool. And she was like, yeah, we're gonna like split presents between the whole family. So Victor and me were in charge of the baby. Uh, Victor's parents were gonna buy something for the couple. And then they had um, two other kids. And that was amazing. It was an experience that I've never lived before. The feeling of that night was crazy. They literally changed my relationship with Victor. They totally did. And in a good way. When we got into that apartment and we met them, we got this like feeling of God's presence and their love in that small apartment that we were like oh my god we need to learn so much of them for our family sometimes we complain and we like whine the whole day because oh my god my life is so miserable and i need this and i want that that when you meet a family like the one we met we kind of like take a step back and we're like if we could only be a little bit like you, that would be great. And the next day, it was Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was going to be at my place, well, at our place. Um, and I've always had a dream of doing, like, a pajama party with, like, plaid pajamas and have it here and just, like, you know, kind of, like, chill Christmas. Because normally for Hispanic people, if you don't know it, we like to dress up to just sit in the living room. So I said, you know... I don't want to do that. I kind of want to like more relax and more chill vibe. We were opening presents. We had a great time. And to my surprise, Victor wanted to give a speech. And I was like, normally I'm the one giving the speeches or saying like, thank you for coming. And so he goes on with like what family means to him and what family has meant for him since he's been with me and all this stuff and he started explaining and explaining and then he calls me to get up from the couch where we were all sitting opening the presents and at this point I was like it is happening right now so I remember like at that point when he called me to get up and he both he hold both of my hands I was like it was like complete silence then he got down on one knee and he asked me to be his wife he asked me to marry him. O-M-G! I am engaged. So that's how 2017 ended for me. I am so happy. I have so many plans for this year. This year is going to be a good year. We're going to be planning a wedding. We're going to be getting fit. We're going to go back to clean eating. We're going to go back to drinking water. We're going to go back to being extremely healthy like we were when we first started dating and I think the end of the year just brought like everything that that happened like any bad thing that happened kind of like didn't matter after we met the family and we got engaged that like pretty much we kind of like stopped everything there and just started something new so yeah the year is just starting and it's such a good year I am such in a different state of mind now that I'm like wow I'm finally like I I think I don't want to say that I want to blame not being engaged and not knowing what to do but it kind of had that feeling so it was more of like an I don't know what's gonna happen next and now since we're engaged we know it's gonna happen soon and we know we're gonna have to start actually planning and putting dates for everything so that's pretty much what's happened 2017, starting 2018. I'm super happy. I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of hopes. I am very grateful for God for everything that he's brought for me in my life since I started following his path. And I can't wait for 2018. I'm going to be posting videos hopefully every week since now I have the weekends off. So make sure to subscribe, like, 
if you like this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye say bye